you out to a live look outdoors now tonight on this very, very chilly Saturday evening. These temperatures are overnight. Te freezing temperatures we've been seeing lately are some of the coldest of the season with tonight actually being the coldest. Lucky us. First alert meteorologist Dorian Miner joining me over in the Weather Center. Dorian, I just said it. It's going to be the coldest we've seen so far. Not looking forward to it. How cold is it going to get? What do we need to know besides putting the blankets on maybe the, the electric heaters? What do we need to know? That's right. All of that, Meredith. And we are looking at temperatures tonight that are coming down into the teens and 20s, but that's actually not our wind chill. We'll feel much colder than that as you're waking up to start our Sunday morning, but let's check in here with our current temperatures. The majority of us right now are below the freezing mark there on the peninsula North Charleston right now at 29 degrees and really the warmest spot right now by the lakes there in Monk's Corner right there at freezing. But let's check in here with the wind as well, because when you factor in this wind anywhere between 5 and 10 miles per hour, actually backing off a little bit in the past hour. This is what we call the wind chill, what it feels like on your skin. If you were to walk outside, very dangerous to do so because we'll be feeling like we're in the 20s right now, a little bit warmer there in Orangeburg. That's really going to be short lived as we get into the overnight hours. We'll be waking up to those wind chill values that are in the teens along the coastline and maybe the single digits as you're waking up right there on the I-95 corridor. We'll break down the full details plus your full seven day forecast in just a few minutes.